Elevia hooks are making lifting and rigging safer by keeping us fragile humans away from the rigging process. They're a great piece of equipment to improve the safety and the well being of your workers on the floor. But which hook is right for your application? Today, we break down the differences to help you decide which hook is best for you. My name's Cody Mathis and I've been servicing the lifting industry for 10 years. What we have here is the Evo line. You have uh, from two and a half ton to 25 ton in this model. You have the Neo line, which is from a 20 ton hook to a 150 ton hook. And then you have the, the S40 auto shackle, which is just released on the market, which is a 40 ton automatic shackle. So um, depending on your lift point, depends on what, what hook fits the application the best. Your Evo model is your more well-rounded. Uh, it can do chains, wire rope slings, fixed rigid points, um, many, many different applications that this hook will work with. Uh, your Neo unit is more for your rigid fixed point. Uh, that is a large thickness plate material. And then your S40 auto shackle is for lifting eyes. To help fit the proper Alebi auto hook, I want to know the application. You know, I want as much detail as I can get about what you're doing, what you're lifting, what the environment's like. One of the, the main things we need to know is your, your lift points. I need, I, I need some sort of dimension, you know, if, if you can give me a print uh, without going into too much detail, I, you know, having a print is very helpful on what we, what we fit for your application. We need to know the capacity. You know, if the capacity is over, but under the next model up, we can derate, but we can never overrate. So we can't uprate a hook to fit your needs. We have to go up a model and then derate it. You, you want to know all those factors. You want to know, okay, what's what's your application overall? Okay, what are you lifting? What are you doing with what you're lift? Is it an open flame environment, high heat environment? Is it very corrosive? You're, are you using chemicals? What type of material are you lifting? You know, if you're lifting carbon steel, stainless steel, if it's carbon, you'd want the magnet. If it's stainless, the magnet's pointless, right? If you've got a fixed rigid point that is made of carbon or stainless or, you know, some, some off the wall material like aircraft grade aluminum, the NEO doesn't utilize a magnet. The NEO, the NEO utilizes an opening with an auto close feature. If you're in a high heat open flame environment, you, you, you may want to consider our add-ons of a, a heat jacket or a, a stainless steel heat shield or high temp batteries. You want, you want something that's not going to consume right away. Once we get the lift point, the capacity, then we'll go on to the smaller details later. Applications that wouldn't be a great fit for the, the Evo line would be tight spaces. Um, you know, you'd want more of an open area to be able to use it because because you don't want your, your magnet grabbing everything around it. You do need an, an opening range for your hook to move. As your hook opens, you need that space increases, right? You wouldn't want to try to put this in a tight space to try to engage a shackle or ring. You need that extra space. If you've got a slim tight space, that's where your Neo would come into play. The Neo is just a straight vertical, right? It turns up 90 degrees to where this one's got a, a wide range. If you're anything over 25 ton, at that point, the Evo is not your, not your go-to unit. Applications that wouldn't the Neo wouldn't work with would be some you know a chain sling laying on the ground shackles shackles that lay down would not be a good fit for a Neo. You have to have an open like a hole opening where a lifting you know if you're lifting chain slings off the ground the Neo is not going to be your unit. Some things that set the Alebi auto hook apart from the rest would be your 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 many many different configurations your many different upgrades your many many different capacities. From a reliability standpoint to you know a, a customizable standpoint, it's, it's top of the list. This hook has an option called the swivel lock. It is a lock you would put up in your, your basket area here that would keep the, the unit from rotating. Some of our steel mill applications, there are they when they lift an electrode, they don't want it to spin. You know, they're they have so many moving components in a in a crane block line that rotate, uh, it just keeps from, you know, it's spinning out of control. If you go with the custom top link um, and you have a rotating block, 
So say your block is remote controlled and it can rotate under remote, uh, there is an option to have a custom shank on top that this hook would rotate if this hook became your crane hook. Uh, so for a five, a 10, you can get a 20 ton top link. This just customizes the top of this hook to fit your crane hook. Um, really, it doesn't change the capacity. It still would be rated at 10 ton. Uh, you have the custom link option, which would fit your crane block. Bodies, bodies standard across all sizes. One of the options is the bumper, bumper that's high temp, a bumper that's high temp with LEDs. There is a heat shield that can bolt to this hook to keep it from open flame, extremely high heat. Two different batteries, there's a standard battery and then your high temp battery that's good for up to 450 degrees. You know, you have multiple different options on magnets here. You have a standard magnet with a sensor, a power magnet with a sensor. One of the questions I get most is, can you turn the magnet off? No. The magnet's on all the time. Um, then you get a power magnet with a sensor with a rigid latch, um, which the rigid latch deletes the latch out of your out of your hook to free up more space. Counterweight. So when this hook opens, you see the the, the hook kind of tilts a little bit. There's a counterweight option for the front that would keep it straight. Marine coating. There's a marine upgrade. They coat all the the non-painted parts and all the the painted parts with an epoxy. There's an explosion proof option. And there's a submersible. For a hook with all the options and accessories on the Evo line compared to the Neo line, there's really not that big of a cost difference. For, a, for an Evo 20, with all of the options and accessories, roughly $15,000. And then if you went with a Neo line, 20 ton, same options, uh, you're roughly 18. So really there's not that big of a cost difference. One of the biggest things that I've seen in 10 years is the customer actually physically being able to see that hook on their hook, on their crane, running their application, right? If you have any questions or concern or want to set up a demo, you know, please give us a call. So we'll give you a consultation. We'll come out, we'll show you some hooks and some different options, configurations, and make sure that the hook works for your application. Hopefully you now have a better idea of the things you need to consider to help you decide which Alivia hook is going to be best for your process. At Mozilla, we have some great experts who understand your specific needs and can help walk you through the best solution for your exact problem. So contact Mozilla for all your Alivia needs. If you found this video useful, informative, entertaining, or you just feel like being friendly, then hit that like button so we can get this information out to everyone who needs it. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. If you have a question, drop it in the comments so we can get you an answer. Remember, safe rigging is smart rigging. My name is Ben, and stay safe out there.